Hey guys, DIY Technician here. Today I wanted to talk about a issue that I was having with my 2010 Dodge Ram 1500. It's a 4x4 and it has the Hemi 5.7 liter engine. The issue I was having was I was getting a low oil pressure error on my dashboard when coming to a complete stop only. So if I crank it, and it just sits idle, it's fine, but whenever you're driving around and come to a complete stop, for some reason, it would randomly shut off. So, let's get into it. I did a 100,000 mile interval for my, my RAM. The, there's a lot to do on this interval, so I'll just go through this quickly. I replaced the engine oil, the transmission fluid, transportation fluid, the front and rear diff fluid. I replaced all the spark plugs, I did a coolant flush and replaced the thermostat. So this took me a while to find all this information online. So hopefully this will save some time for you guys. So for this 100,000 mile interval, here are all the different fluids and the types of fluids and how much of each fluid and the miles uh, interval that is recommended. So for the engine oil, I use seven quarts of 5W20. I use full synthetic. Uh, the owner's manual says to do it every 5,000 miles. The transmission fluid is six and a half quarts of ATF plus four. The owner's manual says to do it every 60K miles. I left mine in for 100,000. It seemed to be fine. Transfer case fluid, two to three quarts of ATF plus four. And the owner's manual recommends every 120K miles. I did it at 100,000 miles, did it a little early, but since I'm already under the car, doing all everything else, might as well do that too. The front diffusion fluid, it's three quarts of 75W90 gear oil, and it says to do it every 100,000 miles. The rear differential is three quarts of 75W140 gear oil every 100,000 miles. The spark plugs, there's 16 of them. Uh, it's recommended that you use the copper spark plugs. Don't use the iridium coated ones. I'll get into that next slide. Uh, the owner's manual says do it every 30,000 miles. My old copper ones were in there for 100,000 miles, so, and I didn't see any issues. So it's, it's up to you, however you want to do it. Uh, the coolant flush is four gallons of HOAT Valvoline Xurex G05 coolant. The owner's manual says do it every 30,000 miles, but the Valvoline product advertises that it'll last 150,000 miles or five years. I did mine at 100,000 miles, it seemed fine. I also replaced the thermostat whenever I did the coolant flush. So let's get into the issues I was having. So after the maintenance, my truck that never had an issue before all of a sudden had a no oil pressure problem when coming to a complete stop. And again, it would happen randomly, not all the time. After days of researching to try to find an answer to the low oil pressure problem, I decided to try all the processes and part replacement that other people were recommending on the Dodge Ram form. So here's a little rundown the processes were to clean the throttle body, use a fuel tr treatment, and attach a separate ground wire directly to the throttle body to help with something. I couldn't tell you. The parts that were recommended to replace were the camshaft sensor, the crankshaft sensor, the oil pressure sensor, uh, and if all else fails, replace the throttle body. After spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on all the parts, I still had the same problem. So after more research, someone recommended that I replace the spark plugs again, however, with copper ones. Um, so after I did that, the issue disappeared. So more of the story is, don't use iridium coated plugs on your 2010 Dodge Ram 1500 5.7 liter. I hope this helps save time for others who are having similar issues. And again, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. My name is Chris, the DIY technician, and we'll see you guys later.